Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ma'ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da, habakadillah, there's nothing like making wudu in a fresh river that's coming from melted snow and the rain coming and filtered through the mountains. Nothing like that. And so refreshing, so cold, and of course, you're practicing an important part of Islam and Islamic purity, purifying yourself. And in fact, Ahabatibillah, when we are purifying ourselves, when we're making the wudu, that we are losing sins. We're actually losing sins. As the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, that, you know, as this water, water is right now dripping from my beard, Okay, dripping off my limbs, and sins likewise are dripping off. Why? Land the Nabi and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam akal, and that's because our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, and nusadqahu. We believe in him. We believe in what he said, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we believe in him as the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Abu Tufilah, what I wanted to mention is just the importance of the. One of the supplications uh, of Tahara, when you purify yourself, that and that you say, "Allahumma, Allahumma, ajalni mina tuabin, wa ajalni mina mutatahirin." Oh Allah, make me from the tuabin, meaning those people who uh, who repent often. You know, those are the people who seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Allahumma ajalni min tuwabin. Make me from the tuwabin. Make me from those people who seek repentance from you, Ya Allah. Wa tuwabin wa mutatahirin. And those who are purified. Andhari la hadha ya habit filah. Oh my beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, look at this. Under Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us to say the supplication. That's the first point. And when we look at the supplication of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam, in which it's exhibiting tawhidillah that you are actually <coughs> supplicating. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're not supplicating to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you're following his sunnah, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. So you are supplicating to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying, O oh Allah, Allahumma j'alni, O oh Allah, make me. You're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you a better believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, اجعلني من التوابين Make me from the توابين Those people who repent Those people who are sorry for their sins Those people who want to remove their sins Those people who leave off their sins لله And are determined not to return to those sins لله اللهم اجعلني من التوابين Make me from those who repent you know, those are uh, uh, tuabin. I think they come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with kathra. Kathra to uh, uh, repentance. Meaning they're doing it all the time. Aj'alni min tuabin wa aj'alni min al mutatahirin. And make me from those who are the, the, the purified ones. Under the hadha, habitifillah. Look at this. Ulema'ina, our scholars, they mention that Tahara, that Tahara is of two types. Tahara Hesiyah, Tahara Hesiyah, with Tahara Ma'nawiyah, which means Tahara Hesiyah, 
This refers to the tahara, the purification, the physical purification. You know, dealing with your senses, dealing with your body. So, right now, I made wudu, walillah alhamd, and may, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. I clean my limbs that are supposed to be clean, my hands, my mouth, my nose, my face, wiped, my ears, my, I wiped over my, my boots because I entered them in a state of tahara, and I accomplished the tahara, and that had an aspect of hisiyah, or aspect of ma'nawiya. It, 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 it encompassed both. So the hisiyah, as we said, it's a physical purification. So that means my hands, although I didn't use soap, but they're clean. They've been cleaned with, with the natural, pure, beautiful river water. And my face and my head and my ears, my nose and my mouth, had the tahara hisiyah. Tahara ma'nawiya habatifillah, which is what we're most concerned about here. Is the tahara that refers to the spiritual purification. So here the mu'min is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that supplication to make him or her from those who are purified physically and spiritually. <coughs> And that's how, as the Messenger وسلم, mentioned in authentic hadith, that the sins are dropping from your limbs like the water drops are dropping from your limbs. That, <clears throat> that it has to do with the spiritual purification. That you're actually purifying yourself by removing some sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to be of the tawabin, wa mutatahirin, wa sallallahu wa sallam, على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم